Well, Elvis, now you're really home. How does it feel? It's pretty hard to describe, I'll tell you. It, it, it's hard to get used to, you know. I mean, I've been looking forward to it for two years, and all of a sudden, here it is. It's uh, not easy to adjust to it. Now that you are back, if you look back on your two years in the service, what was the uh, most important thing that happened to you during your two years, whether it was overseas or here in the States? Well, there were a number of things that happened. Uh, I had quite a few interesting experiences. Slept out in the snow. <laughs> HC rations, you know, all the regular things. But uh, I suppose the, the biggest thing of all is the fact that I, I did make it. I made it just like everybody. I mean, I tried to play it straight, you know, like everybody else. And... Uh, I made a lot of friends that I never would have made otherwise. And uh, all in all, it's been a pretty good experience. You, know. you still have time to serve. <clears throat> now, uh, have you given any thought as to where you're going to serve your reserve training? Well, sir, uh, I will be on the reserve status here in Memphis at the reserve center here. But uh, they have a, a clause which covers people with traveling jobs. Uh, if you have a traveling job or if you live too far away from your reserve center, they put you on uh, standby. Uh, whereas uh, you don't have to make their meetings, but you are uh, subject to be called in any emergency or anything of that nature. Elvis, one of your future commitments, as you mentioned, is the Frank Sinatra show on the ABC television network. Do you have any idea when this will be aired? I really don't know the exact date. I would imagine it's somewhere around the 1st of May. Just to give me I have one other part of my question. We understand, okay. uh, speaking of Frank Sinatra, that there has been some rumor about uh, Nancy Sinatra and yourself. Is there a romance in the making here? <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. I only met her in Fort Dix. And uh, she she gave me a, a gift from, from, from Frank. And uh, it was very brief. I think she's engaged to Tommy Sands. I don't think he would appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> now, would you think the uh, music has changed since you've been out of the service? I mean, since you've been in the service? Possibly, yes. <clears throat> I, 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 I can't say, really. I haven't been here long enough to even know. The, no. Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> The, the only thing I can say is that uh, uh, if it has changed, well, I would be foolish not to try to change with it, you know. But as of now, I have no reason to, to change anything. As to your uh, acting, you have stated you would like to be a more serious actor. And uh, do you plan to uh, possibly go to some uh, school or some dramatic school? Well, it wouldn't hurt me any to go to school, but I... Uh, I, I learned best by experience. Uh, I never was very good in schools of any kind. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's going to take me a long time and a lot of experience. But that is your ultimate ambition? But uh, as at the present time, it really is. That's what I want. You were asked about uh, Nancy Sinatra. How about uh, any romance? Did you leave any heart? Shall we say in... Uh, Germany? <laughs> Not any special one. Uh, there was a little girl that I was I was seeing quite often over there that uh, her father was in the Air Force and but it was no big it was no big romance. I mean uh, <laughs> I had to be careful when I answered questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking here in the which did you find the most difficult when you went into basic training or when you got over into Germany over with the experienced soldiers? Which, uh, which gave you the hardest time? Well, basic training wasn't hard for me at all. Uh, it was harder afterwards. After I had gotten into a, a regular outfit, uh, not the service itself, but just the surroundings, and I was in a strange land, and... Uh, uh, the outfit I was in, they had quite a bit of field duty. We stayed in the field six months out of the year. And it gets cold in Germany. <laughs> it snows quite a bit. And uh, uh, 
Yeah, it was pretty hard to adjust to. One thing further on that. Uh, do you have any advice for the boys your age who are now going to have to put in uh, a certain amount of duty with, uh, in the service? Well, the only thing I can say is to uh, play it straight and, and, and do your best because you can't fight them. <laughs> they've, never, they've never lost yet. You know? <laughs> and you can't fight them. So uh, you can make it easier, you can make it hard on yourself. I mean, if you play it straight, get the people on your side, let them know you're trying, you, you, the arm would say you've got it made. And if you're going to try to be an individual or try to be different, you're going to go through two years of... Middle. <laughs> Elvis, when do you think you'll record again? When you do, do you think you'll lean toward the ballad type music or the more upbeat sound? Well... As far as when I'll record, it, I, I really don't know. Possibly this week or next week. And what I'll record, I, I don't know yet. Uh, I've got quite a few songs to choose from. I've collected over the two years, but I don't know exactly uh, what type or what instruments I'll use, whether it be a uh, Firestone Orchestra or <laughs> Money Bunny or what. <laughs> I really don't know yet. <clears throat> You said that uh, you said that uh, at the train that the uh, that you wanted to get back to what you were doing. And of course, that is singing and entertaining. And I take it from that, that that you really enjoy what you're doing or what you were doing before you went to service. Oh yes, I do. In fact, that was the hardest part of the entire military service. Is being away from, it. being away from the fans, and just, just being away from show business all together. That that was the hardest part of all. It wasn't the army. It wasn't the other men. It was that. It stayed on my mind. I kept thinking about the past all the time, contemplating the future, and that was, that was uh, the hardest part. We know your family status has changed since you went into service. Are you going to keep Graceland? Do you have plans of moving away from Memphis? No, sir, I have no plans for leaving this. Are you going to keep Graceland? I'm going to keep Graceland as long as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> well, was, was, this, <clears throat> was this Christmas tree a surprise? Well, since it's uh, March, uh, it's a little surprise. <laughs> uh, that's the tree we used in 1957. We can leave the Christmas tree long enough, Bob. About your tonsils and the tonsillectomy that you were contemplating while you were in the service, did you deliberately ask that it be held off until you could get to the United States and the local doctor? No, sir. Or did I, they improve I, that much? I didn't ask that. Uh, uh, they don't like to perform surgery of any kind in, in Europe. They don't like to. If it's an, if it's an emergency, they will. But uh, I took penicillin and uh, wonder drugs or whatever they call it. You, and you I, I, got okay. I had I had two attacks of the tonsillitis. Well, did you like the food over there uh, outside of the army? And you would go out, you know, did you like that type of food? I never went out. So. <laughs> you never uh, ate out at the restaurant? Or? I never I never ate in a restaurant the entire time I was in Germany. Funny. I either ate in the mess hall or at home. I, I never, in fact, I never went anywhere while I was in Europe except to Paris. I went to Paris and uh, on a leave, and that was all. Now, how did the fans respond to you over there as compared to here in the States? Well, it's a pretty difficult question to answer because anything I'll say uh, it might sound a little uh, like I'm bragging, you know? <laughs> uh, but it was pretty much the same, pretty much the same. There is here. They had seen a lot of your movies. And, and, and the records and so forth.